All right. So in this video, real quick, I just wanted to go over a couple of important things before you can actually get everything into place and, and let this rip to start getting your fans, all right? Because you need everything in place before you start to build your your uh, fan base because, you know, if you don't have your opt-in boxes set up, you know, through AWeber and on your custom FBML tab, it would be a waste of time, right? Because our ultimate goal here is to build a list and, uh, you know, do it that way. Now, there's two ways you can build a list. One is through getting your actual likes, and then the other one is through your opt-in page, but we'll get into that later on. Okay, so you need to set that up, and you need content. You need tons of content on the, on the wall to uh, engage users so they find it useful, and gives them a reason to join your page to like it okay so the first thing I want to do is I want to actually run through a couple of ways on how you could get some content to add to this page now in that SEO guide I mentioned um, you know linking to other pages because that really does help so that's basically what we're gonna do the first spot we're gonna go and look for and we're gonna keep this bird watching thing in mind and uh, you would adjust this accordingly to whatever topic or niche you're going after is easy in articles okay best place because here we can get stuff for free we can use it freely um, no charge okay and the place you want to search for is uh, right over here on the left hand side we can just come here and search bird watching or whatever your niche is okay then it's going to come up with a bunch of articles. As you can see here, we got like 10,000 different articles that we, we can use. So we just find a couple of them, like what bird watching uh, gifts for your bird watching enthusiast. Okay. Well, that sounds pretty, pretty good. It'll actually get them warmed up. Okay. And now we have this, this article about bird watching gifts, just as an example. Um, what, what we could do is actually just copy the URL of this come back to our Facebook page type in something here um, like check out this great article okay and then we'll just post a link directly to that easy in articles uh, thing alrighty and then we will share so there's our first little bit of content right and another thing I want to remind you is like if you're going for SEO purposes and you're um, building custom FBML tabs just for content so that Google can find that and rank you, all you have to do is copy all of this, right? Word for word, copy every little bit all the way up to the article source so you can give credit where credit is due. And that is also Ezine's rules. Okay, you can just copy all of this and come back to your FBML tab for content and just paste that right in there. You know, so now you have tons of content. Maybe it's keyword optimized. I would highly encourage you to write your own so that you know you got the appropriate amount of keywords uh, density in there. But hey, you know, this works too. All right, so what you could do is just go through and post a couple articles on there. All right, from Ezine because we had 10,000 of them, if you'll remember. We had access to 10,388 articles just for this niche. Okay. Um, most of it's people trying to make affiliate sales or drive traffic to their websites, but it's okay because we need content. Another place is YouTube. Videos are always engaging. People love watching videos. Okay, so all we simply have to do is go to YouTube, type in your uh, niche keyword. All right, and then we can post videos from here. And once again, it's super easy to do. All we have to do is find a couple videos that we like, and then we just click and copy and paste this right here. And then we'll just type something here. Neat. Oh, what happened? What a neat video. And then we will post the link right here. Hit attach. Bam. Now we got a video. Hit share. All right. Now what we can do is like I said just go out and find a bunch of content and just load this bad boy up okay you know until you got about 15 quality pieces of content on there enough for people to stay here for a long time and check it all out uh, the next thing you are, are gonna wanna do is go to just Google 
and then type in your keyword, hit Google search, and then just find some cool websites. All right, now one tip I do want to give you is you want to make sure it's not like an, uh, a competing affiliate site because then you're giving them traffic and you're taking all attention away from your stuff whenever you, you start to really put you know your offers up and whatnot. Okay, so that's just a quick tip, but this one looks fine. Copy this. Paste something here like uh, this website gives you all the tips you need. You know, something like that. Once again, hit link and then paste that right in there. Hit attach and share. So now, as you can tell, our page is really starting to shape up. We're just giving good quality information about our, our niche and, um, you know, tons of it. Videos, websites, articles, and uh, it'll really keep people here for a long time. And the reason you want to do that is, once again, just so your page doesn't look empty and it gives people a reason to like the page. Okay, so after you're done doing that, that's good. The next thing we need to set up is this custom FBML tab. And what this is going to be is this is going to be our welcome tab. All right, this is going to be something that has our custom uh, templates that I gave you. All right, and it's easy to edit that. You just come over here to edit page and click that. Then we come to applications then scroll down till you find it. All right, FBML1. What we'll do is we'll go to the application. All right, and just a quick tip before we go any further. If you need to add a couple custom FBML tabs to your page, just hit add another FBML box. It's that simple. Okay, so what I would encourage you to do is just name this welcome or something something like that. You know, that's really up to you. And then find the templates that I provided for you, okay, which are right here. And what you want to do is just find one that you like, all right, and then hit the uh, index page right here. And then in my case, I always have to view the source to get the uh, HTML that I need. All right, and I'll just copy all of this. Whoops, there's instructions that says copy between the lines because that gives you your specific FBML content. All right, so just a quick note there. It's all pretty laid out for you. Okay, then we can just close that, and then we will close this as well, and we'll come back here and we'll just paste all that stuff in there. All right, now something I want to uh, fill you in on. Okay, the images for this stuff is in a completely separate folder just because it's HTML based and you need these images hosted somewhere. Okay, so what you could do is just go to tinypick.com if you don't have hosting and you can uh, upload it all there, get the links and post them in where, it's, where it specifies that certain image. Okay, like image top dot gif right so that would be this one so we would upload that to our either our own hosting account get the url or tinypig.com and then we would just paste that url there now i know it seems like a lot of work but it's better than sitting here and hand coding a, a you know custom tab yourself a custom uh, fbml template yourself so you'll want to do that with all those images obviously for like these heads and these pictures you know, you'd want to make that, you know, whatever you would want it to be. A uh, big picture of a bird for bird watchers. Or even your face if it's your own fan page. All right, now all of these are, uh, do come with uh, Photoshop files in case you want to add your own spin or flavor to it if you know how. Okay, and all the instructions for editing the tab as far as where to put the video, what to change here, and what to change there, as far as the images are as well, is all laid out in this PDF, this instruction PDF. And it's very, very straightforward. And uh, you shouldn't have a problem editing that. But what you want to do is you want to set this up and you want to go ahead and set up an autoresponder, um, set up a web form and all that stuff, and a new list in Aweber. Okay, I'm sure you know how to do that. If you don't, Aweber has wonderful tutorials that'll walk you through that and then you'll want to put in in your uh, your code for your Aweber once again it's all specified in this uh, PDF that I just showed you okay and once you get all this stuff set up guys you're pretty much ready to rock as long as you have whatever kind of free gift that you're looking on you know offering these pe people as an incentive to get into your list you know you're ready to rock and roll so uh, if you don't have a 
a free PDF or a free gift or video or whatever you want to give away to them, um, you know, just create one or have someone do it for you. All right, it's very easy, but make sure you have that before you set up this list because we need a reason to give these people uh, to join onto our list, right? Because they're not just going to do it for nothing. Um, so all the templates and stuff that I, I've given you are, are there, okay? Um, if you'll look in the template folder, you'll find that I also include something really neat that we'll get into later on, um, the reveal thing. And that's pretty cool. Um, so you can, I don't know if I said this already, I can't remember, but you can also add video to this if you have a YouTube video that you want to throw into your custom FBML um, template here. Uh, that's all specified on where to put it in your uh, instructions PDF, okay? All right, and one more thing that I want to encourage you to do, and this is super important, is go right back here to edit page because we need to, to edit where we want our fans and new fans to end up and obviously we want them on that welcome page on that custom uh, FBML template that we just set up right and that's very very easy to do um, you just come here to manage permissions alright and on wall tab shows only post and all this other stuff uh, underneath this you're gonna see something called default landing tab now we don't want this to be our wall especially if we're using paid traffic because it's just a waste of time we want it to be that, that custom welcome tab that we just set up because that's going to contain our opt-in all right our opt-in form and our free gift our incentive to give them to to join the page um, so you want to make sure that you set that up as uh, your default landing tab once you do that hit save changes okay now Whenever you land on the page, you're obviously going to see the wall and all this other stuff, but new users will see that as the default landing page. So once you have this, the free report's in order, you got tons of content, guys, you're ready to start getting some fans. So proceed on to that next module.